only makes me go sound possible. Miko's my name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video and welcome to my second reaction to Scrap Heap Challenge. So, I did a uh, reaction to Scrap Heap Challenge last month and uh, it was fun, but it was also the pilot episode. Um, so, it's a little different from how the show grew to be. People recommended that I watch an episode hosted obviously by Robert Llewellyn, who hosted the show for the majority of its run. And most people, uh, I think, because not only the host change, is also a format change, recommended I start with Series 2, Episode 1. So that's what we're going to do today. To elaborate more on what I said at the beginning, I believe starting with this series, the format changed um, from random people being thrown together to people who actually know each other working together so they could work more efficiently. Which probably did improve stuff overall, but let's watch it. It's about 50 minutes. Those magnificent men in their flying machines, they go hop diddly up hop, they go down diddly down down. Down diddly down down? Oh, I hope not. I was also told they got rid of those annoying ass robot sound effects from the pilot, which is probably for the best. Welcome to Scrap Heap Challenge, the show where teams compete to make the maddest, most magnificent machines. They get just 10 hours to complete them. From this, our treasure trove of scrap. That's a nice couch. This time it's a knockout contest. Eight teams from all over the country uh -huh. have been selected from the hundreds who applied to roll out okay, their yeah, so over the next seven weeks teams. and fight it out for this gotcha. the Scrap Heap Challenge Trophy. Nice. The rules are simple. Everything's built from scrap and the machines have got to work. Last series, our junk was transformed into all manner of mad machines. What? This year we'll be making more. But it's not just the building. The ultimate test is when teams and machines fight it out in a head-to-head -head contest and only two teams will make it nice. to the final. So, what's the first challenge? This week's teams better hold on to their hats because we're sending them sky high. They've actually got to build a flying machine. Oh my god. And in 24 hours time, the team with the bird that stays in the air the longest will fly through to the semi-finals. Ah! So while it's the flying machine that stays in the air the longest that wins, we're not expecting high performance. Yeah, I was going to say. The early oh. pioneers rarely managed even a few seconds in the air. So will our teams manage to build one that can fly in just one day? Oof. Well, up for the challenge, let's meet our first team. This is the Brainy Bunch, a team of smart therapists from Cambridge. Right. Team captains Dr. Chess, psychiatrist and Potter. There's Michael, a psychotherapist, and third member David, who's a structural engineer. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah, it's art. Yeah, I'm Chest. I'm a psychiatrist. Uh, some people say I'm potty, but I think what they really mean is that I'm a potter. I come and unwind. What they really mean is I pot, smoke pot. Which is why I built my own kiln, so kiln much pot, garden, which um, I made all myself. I'm Michael. I love making things out of metal, welding. In fact, I'm a bit of a secret blacksmith. But being a psychoanalyst, my main job on the team will be to keep um, That's everybody's cool brains bit. from overheating. I'm David, and I build bridges, big, strong bridges. And I'm going to make sure that what we build what isn't going to break. <laughs> We're going to make an oh, excellent God. team, because Michael will do the thinking, David will do the making, and I, I'm going to boss both of them around. Nice. Scrap heap teams are allowed specialist help. The Brainies have cleverly chosen Supremo aircraft designer Dr. Billy Brooks, who's been building model planes since he was seven years old. Well, shit. Looking skyward in the green corner are the washing machine repairmen from Peterborough, aptly named Inner Spin. That's Motormouth Trevor, Team Captain Rob, and Quiet Pal Sean. I'm Trev. I'm the Joker of the uh, of the team. Uh, I run a karaoke called Mighty Mouth Karaoke. I can't imagine where they get the name from. Uh, what they should call me is Captain Chaos because everything that I touch just falls to pieces. I break everything. I'm Sean. I'm not fixing washing machines. I'm usually out and about on my motorbike. 
My main job in the team being quite level-headed is to stop the other two crazy people getting out of control. <laughs> I'm Rob, nominated team captain. Bro, because sweet bullet. I've built mo motorbikes, machines, all sorts of things. But I'm not doing that. I like to play drums in a rock band with Trev. He looks like a member Let of the Midnight Express. Go wild. <laughs> Hey, hooker. We're going to be a well-balanced team because whatever we've got to make, I'm going to break it being Captain Chaos, but Rob's there to fix it and Sean's going to polish it. Chosen by the rockin' wild ones to keep their feet firmly off the ground is hang gliding champion Darren Arkwright. Shit. He's got a passion for heights and once reached 21,000 feet in his hang glider. Damn. Come forth, you brave hearts, you fair feathered flyers. Been told. The scrap and the skies await you. Are you ready in a spin? Yes. yes. Are you thinking, Brainy Bunch? Yes. Oh, yes. Well, you have 10 hours from now, so let the lean, mean flying machine build begin. Me! <laughs> Engines aren't allowed. The teams have got to build unpowered flying machines. They'll be launched on an airstrip, and we'll provide a winch to tow them into the air. They've been debating nice. the options, and have come up with a plan. OK, what you got? I'd like to start by uh, building a hang glider, roughly speaking. This is the main frame, yeah? This is the main frame which we need two tubes, sort of two inch diameter, inch and a half, two inch. The second thing we need is a sail to go on this thing. We need uh, old tarpaulins, plastic sheeting. Uh, tarpaulins? We want enough pretty well to cover sailcloth, pretty well to cover this area. The whole works. Right. Yeah. So while the green inner spins plan a hang glider, Chess and the brains go for something more ambitious. They're thinking of a glider. So, what do we need? Fuse large, two wings. We're going to need to build a machine that's very light. We need to find a, or build a wing structure. Oh, like a so glider. if we can find suitable flying surfaces, then that would be brilliant. Of course, it took the Wright brothers a lifetime to get off the ground. Ah, fuck em. These guys have got ten hours. Guys, okay. yeah. So the scavengers get to work. The scrapyard's the team meeting ground. Hopefully they it gives you more than they Casper find, did. <laughs> but it's down to whoever gets their hands on it first. That poor useless man. Trevor, Captain Chaos, grabs everything in sight. Heat. A good bit of teamwork, though, by the Brainy Bunch. They head for the crashed plane that graced our scrapyard last year. Oh, good it's idea. finally found a use. Oh, that really? wing is a heavy option. That thing is sat there all of oh, fucking right. look, look, look. Bravo, India, Romeo, Golf, you might fly again. It's a hefty 25 kilograms, and to make a glider that'll fly, they'll need another wing the same size. There's gotta be In one. fact, what the brains will need for their unpowered glider is two evenly weighted wings, a tail for stability, a fuselage, and some kind of cockpit for the pilot. They'll also need a rudder and flaps, or ailerons as they're called, to help steer their machine. Their biggest challenge is going to be keeping the weight down. Mm. Well, the weight's also on Darren's mind. He's designed many hang gliders, but he's never built one from scrap. Weight's also worrying Rob. Well, first time for everything. There's a lot of weight in these. Is that a bit wow. heavy? The, this. Uh, this all a bit heavy. Everything that's been brought in so far is a bit on the heavy side. To make an efficient hang glider, light materials are crucial. The spins need poles to make the mainframe of the machine. They'll have to find fabric for the wing that's light but strong and build an A-frame and harness from where the pilot will steer. Okay. Leave the Polish out of this Any side. luck on the other wing? Oh, bugger. <laughs> Lucky old David's found the other crashed wing. Nice. Another 25 kilograms, but he's determined to get his engineering hands on it. It's leaking. Bingo, lads, we've got ourselves a nice bit of tarpaulin. This one here is about an acre and a half. Yeah, if you can't find a two-acre one, bring that. I think this is an all-weather sheet for the Millennium Dome. Well, as long as they don't need it, we'll have it. <laughs> He's like, oh, God, oh someone please help me. me. Oh, oh, thank God, so he got somebody to help him. kilograms of wing. <laughs> Rusty, bits missing. He was like, please. Are the brain seriously going to use them? This is in bad shape as well. It's totally corroded. Well, we could probably melt it up and bend it back or give it a good bashing. <laughs> yes, we'd have to probably... Although those wings have suffered at least one crash, the brains opt to repair them rather than build new ones from scratch. Oh. All right, fuck it. Oh. Chess. Chess. Help me. <laughs> this uh, for after the flight That's or... Um... 
Right, if we haven't got enough tarpaul in there, you need your edge examining. Yeah. The shape and size, isn't it? That is really strong. Because, I mean, it's got that nylon webbing in it as well. So, yeah, so do you need work. to look for any more cloth? You don't need any more cloth. Right, right okay. thanks. On Scrap Heap Challenge, we invite along an expert to help assess our team's valiant efforts. Joining us this week is 81-year-old veteran pilot and aviation journalist Anne Welch. There are few aircraft she hasn't flown or written about in her incredible 60-year flying career. Wow. I got enthusiastic about flying when I was a child and I got my pilot license when I was 17, which is a very long time ago. <laughs> but I was very lucky to be able to fly as a ferry pilot in the war. Right. Uh, we paid, what did that entail? What, what were you it entailed being paid eight pounds a week. Wow. <laughs> so you've flown Spitfires? More than a hundred. Have you got more than a hundred Spitfires? Mm. Are they great to fly? Oh, you a dream. Are they? Yes, right. a dream. So I, the yellow team really worry me because they look like they're building a 747, <laughs> which someone's got to carry, and these guys are making a very light thing. I mean... Well, it's not quite like that, but it's, no. uh, that wing is going to be, oh. if they use it as it is, yeah. very heavy. Yes. And they've only got an ailer on one side, so they have to do something about that because that side yeah, will then be much heavier. They're going to make something huge. They're going to have a bit of an angle, that's, which could be alarming for them. That's, that's right. Think. This one will fly much faster because it's heavier. And that might be a big problem for them. Yeah. Ain't broke anything yet, Trev? Huh? Ain't broke anything yet? Not yet. That's a first. Not <laughs> the best behaviour. I'm saving it for something really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing's broken, but is the spins hang glider a better idea? Hang gliders are now immensely efficient mm. aircraft. It's a simple device and it will fly very slowly because it's yeah. lighter it will be much lighter whatever they do with these yes. things it will be lighter <laughs> yes and so it has at the present time a better chance of, of staying airborne for longer which mm. is what the challenge is about yeah. yeah there you go chess hello mike there's a fuselage here we're going to cut it off all right explode <laughs> <laughs> show <Sure. Yeah>. over <laughs> so their gliders short of a tail there's no need to analyze. The brainy boys just opt for brute force. Yeah, fuck it. This may not be effective, but it sure feels good. <laughs> yeah, Weight is still the biggest worry for Chess and Billy, so they've resorted to some serious sums. Right, lift equals a half, P stands for... Ah, uh, not math. V squared. V squared. V squared is what we want to find right. out. CLS is what? A lift coefficient. Oh, right, OK. Uh, it looks complicated, but what the brains are working out is the speed they need to fly at to keep their glider in the air. The basic rule is the amount of lift upwards must exceed the force downwards from weight. Lift comes from the shape of the wing. They're curved to form what's known as an aerofoil. Air moving oh, oh. over the top of the aerofoil travels faster than air moving underneath. This causes a low pressure on top, so the wing is sucked and pushed upwards. What, what but website, they'll only the get lift if they travel fast enough. The heavier their plane, <laughs> the faster that player? they'll have to fly to get it in the air. When there's not enough lift to counteract the weight, it stalls. <laughs> God, I can't do my nine times table anymore. <laughs> Chess and Billy think they've finally worked it out. Yeah, I think we're yeah. looking at a flying speed of around 35, and it certainly means that we can't run, not unless we're blowing a gale <laughs> on the day. Mm. So the thing I don't understand, then is what on earth reason could there be to go for a, a fixed wing glider that's very heavy and difficult to make? You will get a better performance Oops. out of this shape, rigid wing the glider, thing. than you will out of that. Uh, if you can get it right, right I see. it could be a more efficient wing because you've got a, a, a better harder air to get right. shape which is kept and maintained because you have the rigid structure and the rigid skin. But at the moment, uh, that wing, I think, has been on the dump and is not what I would call a beautiful, fair surface. No. This is awful. <laughs> Having no wings at all, the spins have got to build one from scratch. What angle should this ideally be? 90 degrees or 120 degrees. degrees? An angle of between 110 and 130 degrees at the front of the wing is critical. It's what gives the hang glider the aerofoil shape that will make it fly. 
Teams, you have seven hours remaining. Oh my god. Seven hours remaining. So you've more or less finished the kite. When are you going to start on the proper flying machine? Where the fuck did well, you come I'm from? I'm just waiting for the tickets to come through from Heathrow. <laughs> well, funnily enough, they're selling them next door for Is their right? aeroplane. Yeah, we're right? all going to be going off to the oh, Caribbean right. in it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what was your source of worry? Your, um, your material? The materials we're building it out of are... Uh, bamboo. Unusual. There's quite a lot of bamboo going yeah, on. Plastic <laughs> pipe is a source of worry. Oh yes. The aluminium scaffold pole. We started off with aluminium scaffolding pole, and we just picked it up and said it's well strong enough, but it's we can't heavy. pick that up and run. So is it just going to be a single flat sheet of material pulled torch? Are you going to be trying to build an aerofoil shape? Oh yeah, we're well, going to yeah. attempt to build an aerofoil shape. However, we haven't found anything suitable as yet. No. What sort of yeah. things do you need? Are you uh, for we're going to be looking to curve bits of um, aluminium for making battens yeah. to curve to form an aerofoil shape. Right. Um, You're not at all anxious about that at this stage? No yeah. aerofoil shape? Yeah. On the flying yeah. machine? No. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff out there. no. no. He has seven no. hours. If we look right... <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. <laughs> what the hell have they found now? Looks like the tail plane of a crashed F-16 fighter bomber, God knows. <laughs> it fought back, but I won. <laughs> David may have enjoyed a bit of destruction therapy, but the tail's no good. It's way too heavy and it's a complete wreck. Yes. So still desperately short of a tail, Chess decides to boss the boys into action. The tail plane is the most important thing. Yeah. And I think we better go, we better also have an eye to the time. So determine to yourself that some kindly person has placed you a tail plane. Right. I would find something that will serve. Right. We'll Not do. steel. Not steel. Not steel. Could be a bit heavy. Lead's probably out of the question too. In the spin camp, oh, strike, Rob might be yeah, rolling strike, in fabric, strike, strike, but he's not quite sure how to join all those pieces together. Hmm. A hang glider mm -hmm. wing would usually be sewn, but there's only gaffer tape to work with. They're all concerned it simply won't hold. Yeah, it'll if you be start fine. taping pieces onto it, you're risking a tear. Can we thread a wire yeah. Yeah, through yeah, it? Yeah. It's threaded wire and then taped. And then taped. It's going to hang together, isn't it? I would have thought so. I hope so. Knit one, pearl one. <laughs> Darren, how about this? Just stitch together. That's just... Oh, shit. <laughs> That's just that piece. Just a short bit. We just, are just bit. joining materials, Chess. So. Yeah. tend to uh, break things. So. Uh, how's it going then, Chess? Uh, well, <laughs> it looks quite... it's ambitious. It's ambitious. It's ambitious. I, it's ambitious. I love ambitious. Because I was just wondering what the what the cabin service is going to be like. What's the uniform of the cabin crew? Because <laughs> it's it, you know seven four seven is the first yes, the first three numbers that yes. jumped to my head when I saw it. It oh, does. Oh, look she's ambitious. very worried about the weight. She thinks it's very heavy to carry one person. Yes. And she's worried yours will tend to go like that very nicely and then go like that well, rather suddenly. And that's... Well, if we can stabilise it and control it, then we should get a pretty good glide out of it. Right. Um, but. If. <laughs> yes. If, yeah. <laughs> Certainly would not want to be on the wrong end of this when it's up. You wouldn't want to be in the way of it landing, would you? No, no not with this weight no. behind it. Yes, incompatible with life is what we say in the medical right. profession. Is it? Yeah. This yeah. state of affairs is incompatible, incompatible with, with life. life. <laughs> anyway, well, I better I let you get on and get this together. Yeah. Once this is together, I can think of it. You can just more. relax then. He's just like, anyway, fuck off, days. Robert. <laughs> okay, get bolted. Like, um, it's lunchtime, and the singing spins threaten to treat us to a song. So have you got any songs with a kind of flying theme? I believe I can, I can fly. Believe I can fly, that's it. Oh, there we go. That's Is good that one, one, one of the ones you do? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favourite song that you do? Mustang Sally. Yeah, Mustang word. Sally, take it away. Go on. That's got the mic there. Mustang Sally. It's the perfect opportunity for Mighty Mouth Trevor to take centre stage. Guess you better slow your Mustang down. Uh -huh. Mustang selling our baby. You know, maybe we should have got them to build a karaoke machine. Bro, you, you should have. Guess you better slow be your done by now. down. Well, you've been riding all over town. Ooh, I guess you gotta put your flat feet on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Fantastic. Unimpressed with the singing, Chess's team are more interested in their brain food. 
Would it be fair to say that you're you're the slightly eccentric team, which is what they seem to think next door? That you're a bit bit clever. Yeah, we're weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, we've had a next pretty door weird like, expert too. <laughs> <laughs> so, if Mustang Sally's the song for the next door team in very high spirits, what song would you choose for your team spirits at this point? Dan Buster's probably. Dan Buster's, yeah. <laughs> Dan Buster's music. Fly me to the moon might be a bit adventurous. I think. <laughs> Can't see that one working. At no, the think big. Yeah, theme from Apollo 13, perhaps. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, they had a few hiccups along yeah, the way. Yeah, they did. Ah, yeah, they, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got this little. Yeah. Yeah. It could make yeah. a, a wonderful moment though, if it, when it's up in the air and we hear Scrappy, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was the music. I was like, what the fuck is happening? It's the Germans. Welcome back to the Scrap Heap Flying Machine Challenge. The Brainy Bunch are going all out to compete with the Wright Brothers, but the Spins are hanging on to their hang glider idea. Let's see how they're getting on. Oh, that's one hell of a bolt <laughs> cropper, that thing. They've got off to a slow start, but the Spinners are gathering speed. Nice. They've got frame, they've got cloth. It's time to tie down the shape of that wing. Take it over that way. Yeah. We're going to stretch it out, tape it on the end, put some curved sticks in it, fold it tight, and pull it under. What? Will go wrong. Nothing. Get the scissors. Hopefully out, not. Teams, you have five hours remaining. I was just going to guess five that. Five hours remaining. I was under the impression we weren't allowed engines on this. Yeah. Well, next thing we're going to need at least a phantom jet engine to get that off. <laughs> <laughs> Even without an engine, they've got their work cut out. To stand a chance of getting their hang glider to fly, they've got to wrestle that fabric onto their frame. And trickiest of all, make it taut. Hacking away at that in a quite maverick fashion. It's like, ah, this is hack, 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 hack. If he cuts this too short, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Bang. Big trouble on the brain side, though. Right. They've hung onto those heavy wings, but there's still one tail short of a plane. It's time to go back to first principles and rethink their design. What are we doing for a tail? How's our tail going to be mounted? We don't need a tail at all. We have a four plane. We have a canard configuration. Good lord. So, uh, no. So, we, we, what are we doing with the, um, the tail plane? What happens with that? Put that in the background. Um, there, uh, isn't one. <laughs> <laughs> no tail, huh? <laughs> You're flying this, Our aren't concept you? finishes at this point. Their original drawing had a tail out of the back of the That's plane. right. Yeah. But they have decided not to go for a tail at the back. Good luck. to go for a tail which is called a canard in the front. It will make it stable and also uh, stable in pitch and controllable in pitch because they will be able to alter the angle of the canard to lower the nose or raise or it. Or raise it, right. Yes. I hope so. Bye-bye. So the tail's out, and on its way in is the plan Billy's been Yeet. conjuring up, a canard design. Flying machines with canards. The Wright brothers knew a thing or two about these. Uh, it was the Wright brothers who discovered that a tail at the front of a plane can be just as effective as one at the back. Its name, canard, is French for duck, as that's what people thought it looked like as it flew overhead. Like a tail, a canard keeps a glider stable. It stops the plane from nosing too far up, and more importantly, too far down. But a plane also needs to be kept from swinging left or right. That's the job of the rudders. On a canard design, the easiest place to put them is on the wings. Pulling on the left rudder increases drag on that wing and makes the glider turn left. It works just the same to turn right. Not wanting to add any extra weight to their glider, Chess and Billy have made the rudders from styrofoam. It's like a strong polystyrene. I think that this idea of burying a stick in yes. through at that kind of angle projects out here so that we can then pull it yeah. from the pilot's position with a piece of string. Okay. Right. Listen, if whoever's okay. flying this Good. dies, I blame the pilot. I blame the fucking the styrofoam, team. brother. I can't believe he fell straight yeah. down. Ah, maybe we should have made the front thing out of fucking styrofoam. Lovely hinges. <laughs> okay, just right up and over. All that taping and tying has come to fruition. There's enormous green growth in the spin camp. Gentlemen, I think we have ourselves an airship. <laughs> <laughs> and matches their outfits. The thing about the, the green teams is that they've got a... It, it, they are a single wing. Just, there's no rudder or anything else, no, is there? Just, the, just a wing and just a no wing. control surfaces at all. Right. Clovich on the top. There's just a bit of slack in it, actually, guys. 
So that looks like they've got the king poster. Yes, I think it's exactly. about the right height. So we're having a little satellite dish on the top here. Do <laughs> you think it'll help? From this king post, they will have cables, wires, running HBL? from it out to points on the wing. Right. Well, about there, yeah? Yeah, it's about there. Yeah, not far off. Yeah. The reason for this is the trailing edge of the wing is raised slightly so that if the hang glider should start to dive or is dived rather steeply, the airflow on this little raised bit is much more sort of powerful than it was yes. and it tends to push that down and that will bring... Pushes the front up. Yes. yes. This, is, this is pulling over to one side. It's just a okay. Not sure we can mention tail to chess as there's been a bit of a See mishap. Yeah. You want to know the bad news? Yeah. What's that? Guess who stepped on one of those bits of foam? Oh no! Oh it's no! All right. Don't fret! I'm fretting! I mean, who did that then? Me! It's brilliant. Oh. Muggins! Muggins! Ah. Don't fret! I have a plan! The styrofoam brothers! It's their canard she's trodden on, but I'm sure Chess's love of gaffer tape will see them through. Oh, you get on. You were, saying, you were sort of quite. Uh, you were, well, you were very anxious about the weight. <laughs> I'm more hopeful about this right. now. Yes, because the canard will be styrofoam, yeah. and that has helped the right. overall weight situation quite a lot. Are they ready? So you go. There you go. So who's your money on at the moment then? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is, it more, is it on a bit more 50-50 now, is it? Are you still... It's nearer 50-50, yes. yes. Not quite, but nearer. The ugly duck, she may fly yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you ain't gotta talk about the old lady like that. <laughs> Called her an ugly duck to her face, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck, Robert? <laughs> so, a canard at last. I'm going to need a lot of therapy after this program in order to deal with these pot rivets because <laughs> they and I have this peculiar sadomasochistic relationship with one another. Well, now we know no more falling from Trevor. There's tension in the air. He needs to find the crucial balance point on the hang glider to attach the pilot's A-frame. If it's not dead centre, it'll veer horribly in flight. Oh, you both oh, let go. I've let go. Yeah. You've both let go. I've yeah. let go. Well, that's not far off that. No. Just in front of keep the king. Keep your thumb there. Right, bring it down, Trevor. Keep your thumb there and I'll get a marker pen. Right, the balance point is about there. Fabulous. <clears throat> Precision is everything with hang gliders. Get it right and the possibilities are endless. No one get knows this better you than British hang gliding die. pilot Judy Ledden. She holds 20 world records, including this wow. one for altitude. Wearing full body suit and oxygen mask, She's lifted by a hot air balloon to launch from an incredible 40,000 feet. Fuck. That's 11,000 feet higher than Mount Everest. Fuck off. Oh, fuck off. I think the best part was certainly the view. It was absolutely stunning. There's something very satisfying about That's taking wild. off and just going as far as you possibly can. The main problem was the fact I couldn't see where I was going because my eyes were frozen shut. Because it's so cold. Yeah, it was minus 63. Jesus. The trip down was extremely painful. I was still in a lot of pain when I landed. I mean, my hands on froze. They'd been frozen for two hours and they unfroze at 10,000 feet. If you're at 35,000 feet or something, I mean, there's jumbo jets and things around at that height. Yes, bless him. The, less, the, the late King Hussein had made sure that the jets were directed around me. Really? <laughs> yeah, to give me the space to do it. I mean, we only needed a very small area. Gonna land How difficult a challenge do you think it is for, I mean, one of the teams here is going for a hang glider. Well, I'm amazed how well they're doing, actually. It's taking shape really well. This is going to go for miles, That's a good opinion. Would you have a go in one of theirs at the end of the day, no. or do you think... I'd want to see it fly first. I wouldn't go higher than I'd be prepared to fall, put it that way. Right. That's, that's smart. You're a smart woman. Teams, this is your two-hour warning. Two hours oh, left to go. Thank you. Ah, yeah, loads of time. <laughs> he said, get I'm in there. In there. You see, so you're just you hanging. Could, for a short flight, I imagine you break we're going to carry on Bit of that. steering on this. And so yeah. the steering is basically right, lean right to go right, yeah. lean left to That's go right. left, yeah. lean forward to go forward. Right. if you need to make yourself come yeah. down. <laughs> but you will actually be suspended by this, by this um, strapping system 
Yeah, you don't need uh, to hang when you say you. Push, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sort of speaking generally. Uh, but then you'll be able to push that bar away from you, or pull it towards you, or turn it sideways. Right. And you will be just, or just the hanging. pilot will be just suspended in uh, on that main frame. Pilot, Excellent. of course, is a phrase that implies controllability. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, man. Oh, hello, Rod. <laughs> it's getting a bit late in the day now. Like, ah, well, yes. They've moved on. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes. yeah. Now the greens are on track, really, aren't they? As far as I can yes, tell, sir. the inner spinners, but the uh, the brainy no, bunch. Stop it! Stop it! You're beginning to upset me. It just look absolutely what the normal, fuck? And it just seems to have got bigger. <laughs> what the, the one fuck? The I'm uh, confused about is the actual where you know the importance of the position of the pilot. On what them. the I mean, fuck? It, it looks as though the pilot's going to sit between the wings. Well, team, official sitting in. You're beginning yes. to upset me. Well, on any aircraft, you have to get the CG, the centre of gravity, shit. correct. The yellow team have obviously done some calculations on this and are putting the, uh, the seat in a perfectly sensible position. The only dangerous situation with this is if the nose rises and I can't, can't get the nose down. But what I can do is lean forwards like that get my CG further forwards that drop it that and I way? reckon that that's bound to get the nose down so I'm happy to give it a shot like this. The only thing is I'm not quite sure where the pilot's feet will go. Do you want any control on your legs or do you just want your legs to... Well, that's a... You see that's I mean? a thought, you know. <laughs> I mean... Uh, uh, <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> ah! Yes. Well, he's he ah, wants a bit more no. of a frame in Now I want stirrups. Yes. So Billy wants now, strings to his feet to steer the wing rudders left and right. And that flimsy Zimmer frame stick is going to control up and down. Yeah, right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And then it, it's just pull back for up, up elevator. Okay. Yeah. Simple as that. So it's all looking good. But how strong is that Zimmer frame canard? Oh, no. Tape combo yeah. Hopefully it'll step on it again. Alias your canard. The duck. Now, again, there's been a lot of calculations, the brainy bunch living up to their <laughs> reputation. <laughs> what made you go for the canard design rather than the more conventional tail Well, the, the trouble with the conventional design is that in order to get the centre of gravity in the right position, which is, say, about there for a mm. conventional layout, means that we've got to put the pilot here to counterbalance the weight of the tail and everything back there. Right. And I began to run into real problems in creating a fuselage structure strong enough to take the pilot here and As have the tail, the tail boom the back. back. Why don't we see any planes with these on nowadays? In a canard layout, you end up with a higher minimum speed, so you need a longer runway. Right. So, generally ah. speaking, people say these days the best place to put a tail is at the back. At the back. <laughs> As most people think it should be. <laughs> Can I have a sit in your seat? Yeah, sure. It's very, While it's yeah, ri it's very ritzy. Very ritzy yeah. in the in-flight drinks. So <laughs> coffee, whatever. Be careful of that careful joystick. <laughs> <laughs> Too right. <laughs> so just pull the stick back for nose up, push the stick down for nose forward. Could hardly nose be more down. straightforward. <laughs> well, you're having lessons. <laughs> I am. I think I've got the knack of it. The emergency exit's just behind you. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we do need, we, we decided we needed a black box flight, flight recorder. recorder. <laughs> 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 yeah, <it is> <laughs> this will record, That's if it fantastic. goes wrong, this will record why. <laughs> Very technical, I can say. It's in the back here. <laughs> and all the wires get wired into the computer wires, wiring wires, lane. Wires, the uh, onboard <laughs> navigation system. Yep. Look at that. That looks, that looks really That's technical, man. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> now we're looking good. He's quite busy because he's got this thing here and he's got one foot and he's also talking about if they haven't worked their central gravity out quite right, he's going to be leaning backwards and leaning forwards, forward. forward. oh, boy. side to side. So it's, yeah. it could be quite an active <laughs> 10 yeah. seconds. Yeah, it's sort of a controlled <laughs> crash, isn't it, really? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> I am worried about that under under carriage. We just I just want to show you this under under chassis. It needs, Once it needs and for a professional all. like us. I think it really. does. I want to feel like one of those men on the runway that kicks the tire. See, look at this. Oh yeah. I mean, oh. That Beautiful. It's laughable, isn't it? That no, clearance. No, that's, that's fantastic. That's four There's inches. There's a little bit of, of friction from the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Up there, but that, you know, once but the, longer, Stop touching her shit. Oh, four inch grass would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Five inch grass, you've got big problems. Yeah, just, I mean, they could put some blades on it and just trim it. You'd have a nice... On one of these shows, there's got to be a show where these hosts have broken stuff. A trimmer right. plane. A Zimmer strimmer. <laughs> Should we go and look at the seamstresses next door? See how they do. <laughs> mind your head. Oh, mind your head. Oh. There we go. Am I right? Whoa. Of course, we shouldn't have really let you film that bit just in case. Oh, it collapsed. Be that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the adjustment. We might have to think, rethink that one in the next ten minutes, <laughs> i.e. 
I.e. more tape. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's, let's see if we can all fit under it. The boys have been transported back to their scout camp days. This is some male bonding thing, isn't it? I'm feeling you're in the wrong tent. Yeah, she's like, what the fuck? That's right, yeah, it's a male bonding thing. Get the Alice tent. Hey, what do you do with that drill, boy? I'm taking it. Oh, now, now. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, you won't hear the last of this. You're not my boss here. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Yes, but come Monday morning, you may live to Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, you can have it back. They have a kinky relationship, I, I can tell. <laughs> the crucial question here, this late stage in the day is, <laughs> who's going to do it? Who's going who's gonna to stay up in the wind longer? Who do you think is going to win? Oh, that's a very difficult Isn't question. It? A very difficult question. Yeah. Yeah, once, once we've got this in, it'll hold yes, itself. Right. There is no doubt at all that this one will fly like a straightforward, simple, slightly old-fashioned hang glider. <laughs> and it will fly. Uh, there is no reason at all Whoa. why uh, the yellow team's aircraft shouldn't fly. I mean, it Turn was really a very brave step to actually decide to use those wings. Yes. Yeah. Some might say crazy, but I, I love it. I love this one. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Teams, you have one hour construction time remaining. Oh, Thank Lord. you. One hour. One hour. So the final hour and still loads to do. The brains are working flat out, but worryingly, there are still holes in the wings to fix. Holes, holes. That's not good. There's just as much to worry about on Trev's side. They've left that all-important tensioning of the wing to the last minute. Bruh. Teams, you have five minutes remaining. Bruh. Oh, we should have put the tail at the back. Oh, no, oh. it's the wrong way oh. round, guys. Damn it. Turn the seat, yeah. Turn the seat yeah. Bill, you're not going to get too many frequent flyer miles with this thing, I don't think. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> OK, you flying pioneers, time is up. The Wright brothers may have had decades, but you get ten hours and you've had them. So put your tools down, fasten your seat belts, and hold on tight, because tomorrow we take to the skies. <laughs> All right. No, no, we wouldn't, mate. We Jeez. wouldn't. There you are, bona fide, all working, all singing, all dancing hang glider. And if anybody touches it, we're going to chop their arms off. <laughs> <laughs>
Good morning, flyers, and welcome to Scrap Heap Challenge Flight One. Our journey time today will be several seconds. <laughs> our altitude will be well, a couple of inches. <laughs> a quick reminder of the rules: you'll each get three attempts to fly your magnificent machines. And remember, it's not about distance; it's just to do with time in the air. The clock will start the moment that the winch is released. Whoever stays in the air for the longest will fly through to the semi-finals. So fasten your seatbelts and enjoy your flight. So as the teams prepare, our judge, Anne Welch, is at the ready. Ready on the clock? Yes, we're ready on the clock. <laughs> Excellent. Good. They really are actually ready. The winches are all... In the spins all... first. In the spins going up first. Rather them than me. <laughs> You've oh flown some pretty hairy machines in your time. Would you go in that? <laughs> About one foot high. <laughs> so three goes a piece it is. The spins are up first, the wind's blowing a good 15 miles an hour, and Darren decides he can get into the air by team toe alone. In a spin flight number one. There they go. It's like a tug of war. It is. It's like a tug of war. <laughs> it's like a tug of war. Go, go, boys! Go. He's running faster than they are. Woo. He's up. He's down. He's up. He's up. He's down. 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 He's not going fast though. enough. Does that count as a turn, though? Do we say turn one, zero, well, it, zero, it, it, zero? It should, really, shouldn't yes. it? Oh, no, not without well, I'm sorry. Tough ruling. It wasn't fast. So a harsh call for the spins, Oof. a miserable zero for their first flight. So what would you do if you were them now? I'd have another go, but I'd get, <laughs> I'd probably get some... Get some sort of vehicle on yes. the other end of it. <laughs> that's right, so they, can, so they can go faster. We've given oh, both teams the option of launching by winch cable. It's a power-pulling device to get the machines into the air. They look very relaxed, don't they? It's like a Formula One team. There, holding the plane yeah, up. She's more or less holding the whole thing up. I, I think it might, it might be cheating if she actually carries it. <laughs> Take up slack. Remember, the brains are aiming for a speed of 35 miles an hour. The wind is tight. The wind is tight. There it goes. Wow. That's wow, that's fast. Speed. It's going it's very, very fast. It's going to get up. It's, it's hey! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> that was very much off the ground. It's still going. And point. Wow. I mean, he was trying to fly into the wind, but he's, he's, he's a bit, that was sweet. A bit skewed too. So he's having a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> like he's quite busy with his, with his very special string. He was quite Compared to the early pioneers, it's a remarkable achievement. It's a 35 mile an hour takeoff but it's not fast enough to keep those heavy wings in the air. So when Billy releases the winch cable and the timer starts, it stalls. Damn. So it's 2.6 seconds for the brains. Oh, so that's when the timer's so down. We've yeah. got a zero on the board. It's yeah. like, yeah. 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 you know, we're now playing catch up. So um, we know it's, you know, we know it's going to fly. We're confident, but right. we're a bit. So you're going for a super speedy winch. Oh yeah, yeah, we've got. Miles an hour, yeah, so we've got. We, there should be a tornado coming over with, yeah. with an arrestor hook in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, it's oh yeah, once they hit the While preparing for what they, they the think is their second flight, starts. our judge Anne has had a rethink on their first score. Oh dear. Well, I've talked to the inner spinners. They're not. They're very depressed about that. Well, I'm not at all sure we should count this this because they didn't even release the rope did they well they didn't release the rope right so you don't reckon that counts i think it, it would not be with a flight within the three toes for each excellent the... yeah take the embarrassing gnaw off no, the board very, bo Robert. very embarrassing now. the lucky spins get a second chance and wisely this time they go for a winch launch all so right but... the next flight is going to count as the first flight Wind's taking him. He's pulling back. Oh, there they go. There they go. He's off. He's running. Oh, let's go. He's not released yet, no. He's go. released. Oh, he's going to be off. 3.44. 3.44. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. Well done. Brilliant. Excellent. Well done. Does that fly or what? Being lighter, Darren's hang glider gets airborne straight away. But there's too much flapping on the right side of the wing, and the extra drag brings him down. 3.44 seconds. You're having a laugh. <laughs> from release to landing, that's where we time it from. I got at least six. Did you? <laughs> what, from least, when he released? From when he released, I counted as he, as he released, and it, I one, two, three, and as, I, as he yeah, landed, I went... Yeah, that's not seconds what you were counting. <laughs> Ooh, few problems with the brain's glider. That first landing has taken its toll. The Zimmer strim has sprung a few holes. Oh. The appetite of this thing for duct tape is just <laughs> ravenous. And one bit's come off altogether. 
Oh, great. Top, as you can see. So while the brains do some emergency repairs, the spins get clearance for their second flight. But the winds got up to 20 miles an hour. Where would your money be, Anne? Where's the sensible money? It's very money? difficult because the conditions are not easy. Yeah, the wind is, because of the gustiness. The wind is strong, it's gusty. What does that mean? It means the, the performance of the hang glider will not be so good. Um, in other words, it will come down faster. <laughs> <laughs> With the brains at 2.6 seconds, the spins want to better their own 3.4. Good luck, Darren. Leg it, mate. We want to see double figures. There he goes. Go he's on, Darren. Wow. He's up. Wow. He's up. Wow. He's a long he way up. He hasn't released yet. Release. Well, oh, 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 and down. Oh, oh hey. <laughs> that had to be at least four. Excellent. 4.66. 4. 4. 6. Nice. 4.66. That was very impressive well, run. Brilliant. The eagle has flown. A smooth takeoff from Darren to the incredible height of 22 feet. Goes for a swifty release, but this time flapping on the left side of the wing causes him to veer that way and descend. A day to build. He had a little bit of hang there, though. <laughs> that was yeah. crucial. If they'd been building it for a year, I suppose it would have stayed there for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go and tell them that, shall we, by way of encouragement. <laughs> Repairs complete, the brainies gear up for their second go. Brainy bunch have done everything they can with tape. They have used all scrap heap tape supplies with that machine, definitely. All out, all out, all 4. out. 4.66 seconds to beat now. He's off. He goes. Very gentle start. Oh, Hoping for a longer flight, Billy's gone for a faster launch at 40 miles an hour. He's still on the winch, isn't he? He's still on the winch. He's still on the winch. He's still on the winch. There's the release. He's still on the winch. And, and he's down. Oh. That's oh. oh. a bit of a bump on the But the wings are still looking like wings. What do we see there? <laughs> For two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> two seconds. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, well done. This time it's pilot error. Billy points the canard too high, and ah. those weighty wings pull him down. Pilot error. What the fuck, Billy? You bent the front. Yeah. We can straighten that out. And they landed sideways, which apparently their undercarriage was designed for. <laughs> Very few undercarriages on his side. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's right. Yeah, Billy said he didn't have a lot of choice. It just, it just <laughs> no, he didn't. Away. He didn't have a lot of no. choice. No. <laughs> The spins might be in the lead, but their wings looking very droopy. It might not last the distance. This is it, last one. Yeah. So we've got one last chance. Yeah. They're getting ready. Darren's on his feet now. They're going to drag faster this time. He's hoping for a bit more speed. Oh boy. On you go, lad. He's up. He is up. Seriously up. And he's steering much better. Release. Oh, that's going to be five. That's gonna be five. That's gonna be five. Oh, that's gotta be five. Oh, there's been a failure on the timekeeping. It's a disaster. 55 hours. Extraordinary. Kathy, to time control. Do you have a time reading for that one, please? We had a bit of a hiccup our end. 45 seconds. I got just the same. No, 4.7. So you've beaten your record. Ah. Fantastic. Look good that one. If you had another 100 goes, you'd be up to what? 11 or 12 seconds. <laughs> it's the final fight oh for the God. brains, and they reveal their resourcefulness. What the they fuck? They think that T-shirt is going to help their stability and so improve the performance. Whether it will make the slightest bit of difference is yet to be seen. Yeah, probably won't. Uh, Can I make one suggestion? Yeah. We hurry up and get on with it, because it's freezing. Right. <laughs> Are these Just webbing straight? 4.7 oh, seconds, seconds, guys. 4.7 yeah. seconds. They, 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 they've... Yeah. So you're ready to go, then how's it going? Yeah. Okay. Keep those levers working, we love to see that. Well, it's a necessity, <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> it's like taming a wild horse. <laughs> Look, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Go for it. <laughs> go for it as well. Thank you. Are you going to run yeah. after us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I need to run the field. Crowd. But not oh, underneath. <laughs> This is it. This, this is, is it. This is the, the, all the make or break. Who knows what's going to happen there? History <laughs> will be made. <laughs> He's had some added sun cream on his boots to make them slide. The, for the slide factor. Low and fast. Anne reckons they need to go for this one. Low and it's fast. Standard chance of beating the record. Low and fast, Bill. That's the advice. Low and fast, mate. You see down the end. I think he can do it this time. I hope so. Let's see. Oh, taking up the slack. Taking up the slack. I love it when they take up the slack. The wind. the wind is tight. Oh, there they go. There they go. Ah. He's off. Low and fast and nice and stable on the release. But the bubble. Oh, uh, off he goes. Wow. Oh, that looks good. That looks terrifying. good. 
It doesn't look good. Come on, in the air, in the air, in the really air. Doesn't look good. He's in the air. Oh yeah. shit! It's high. He's going for high. He's going for very, very high. He's released, and he's down. Oh. 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 It seems it. taming a wild horse takes more than one day. That has fallen flat <laughs> as a proverbial pancake. I right? literally wheel well, well, well done. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done. Well done I'm mate. sorry, I'm going to hit my best shot now. Well done. Time Commander, can we have your time reading on that fantastic flight, please? <laughs> There's definitely there was a release, a time gap, and then a complete collapse. You know, there was a gap between those. Two definitely wasn't 4.7. Here they come. Fantastic oh. flight. Oh, time oh, reading. The Thanks, official man. time reading. Well, 1.5 seconds. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Pain. 1.5 the reading. <laughs> you are an extremely brave. What the fuck? <laughs> well done. <laughs> That was just fantastic, both of you. I mean, wh however long or short the, <laughs> the, 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 the constructions actually stayed in the air, it was a fantastic achievement to actually absolutely build something amazing. that in a day that actually did go up in the air. I couldn't believe it when I saw them up in the air. It was absolutely fantastic. But without question, the inner spinners go on to the, the semi-finals. So there we go. It's a little present for you. Nice. Well done, congratulations, and lots of commiserations, you brainy bunch, you were just fantastic. Fast. Fast, fast with very dangerous landings, absolutely wonderful, brilliant. And so, we'll see you next week in Scrap Heat Challenge. Till then, bye-bye. Oh my god. No one died, for now. Next week, maybe someone dies. Oh, they do be Naruto run. Learning Naruto running out into the sunset. <laughs> well, not sunset, but you get what I mean. All are dead. I'm not overly shocked by that result, just because, like, the hang glider just seemed... It just seemed like a better idea from the beginning. You know, I, I applaud the yellow team for trying to use those huge-ass wings and all that, you know, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't seem like such a great call from the beginning. You know, the hang gliders just seemed so much more practical. You know, so I I mean, the other one, the wings had more potential if it was made well. But like we talked about earlier in the episode, it was so much more difficult to actually make well, you know. So, so yeah, I think uh, the hang glider was definitely a much better call there. Um, and, I, and I can see what people, uh, first of all, I, I like the new format better, people who actually know each other. Um, I think Robert uh, and his co-hosts add a lot to the show as well, so... Definitely a good hosting change there. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to see more Scrap Heap Challenge in the future, let me know. That is going to do it for my second reaction to Scrap Heap Challenge. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave it a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch rights every single day, my second channel for some views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me on my Patreon, if you want to support me on my daily motion, all those things are in the video description down below. Thank you to all my patrons who can support me on my channel, all named in the video description. If you didn't know, you could be Patreon me for as little as $1 or one pound. And you get access to the reaction videos as well as reading your comments up the day early. And you get your name in the video description as well. For that being said though, my name is Taffer. This has been my second reaction of Scrap Heap Challenge. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.